Today, the Ready Rebuilders are in Davenport, North Dakota, working on a PD500 drill. We're going to remove her closing arm pivots that are stuck and install our new bearings that will not be stuck. Working on our PD500. We knocked all the closing arms off already. We got a guy down here cleaning out the pivots. And then we got the bearings going in right here. The new bearings to fix the problem. And we're also putting the cruiser wheels onto the hubs. We got Reddy's bearing weldment for the closing arm on a PD500. Washers. This is angled to be able to adjust your aggressiveness of your closing wheel. We're removing the farmer's closing arm pivots that are stuck and installing new closing arms, wheels, and bearings. Jesse installs the new bearing kits so the farmer doesn't have to worry about stuck arms anymore. Then James here installs the new closing wheel arms. Hey, ask what, that, what that's for. See the jack? You're separating left and right. Yep. See how they're close together and the others are not? Yep. We don't have enough room to slide that bolt in. So okay. we gotta jack up one side so we can... After the closing wheel arms are on, it's now time to put on the cruiser wheels. This wheel is a high quality cast iron with angular tapered teeth that provides a unique combination of sidewall crumbling and soil firming. The new closing wheels will help prevent clogging and will work in any soil from sandy to heavy and clay based. It is especially effective in saturated soil.
The cedar will now be ready for the field this planting season. Removed all the old closing arms, pivots, installed the new bearing, new closing arm, and the cruiser wheels. So we put our updated bearing kit in here so the arms won't be stuck like the original factory ones. Good for a long time. This is Ready Performance Egg Parts.